so. Do you think you can persuade the British government to change its mind? Uh, that isn't the object of my visit to this country. I could have come earlier and tried to persuade the cabinet, if uh, that was what I wanted to do. But I take it the British cabinet are quite capable of making up their own minds. Uh, I have come here for the object of presenting certain views to them, and uh, I have certain responsibilities to my own country. I will go back and, in the light of my discussion here, decide what line I take. Well, it seems that the cabinet has come to a decision, and it seems it will stick to it. What course of action will your government take? Well, of course, if you are referring purely to the Northern Rhodesian thing, that is only one aspect of the matter that I wish matters that I wish to discuss here. It's only one aspect, and in view of the fact, of course, that no announcement has yet been made by the British government, I must prepare to comment on it. But on no Northern Rhodesia, Sir Roy, if there was an agreement for an African majority there, would that be your objection? I've repeatedly said time and time again, I have never lodged any objection to the Flamingo, an African objection. The only thing I've ever offered objection to is a built-in majority for extremists, white or black. Well then, if there were such a majority for uh, extreme African nationalists, would you feel that endangers the whole federation? Well, of course, if there were a built-in majority for African extremists, it's, it's not only something that I would feel, but I would be certain that it would endanger the whole future of the federation. Sir Roy, you were also quoted as saying, the Federation is mine. What does this mean? Exactly? Well, I don't quite know what the sense is, in, is mine is, it, it belongs to me personally, but it, it belongs to the people who live in the Federation. And of course, I am a Rhodesian. Uh, I am an African, though I happen to have a white skin, so it's as much mine as it is anyone else's. You talk about going all hard, sir. Uh, do you, in fact, include in that the use of federal troops as necessary? If it's necessary to protect the Federation, I mean going the whole hog. Um, for the benefit of our listeners in Africa, sir, it may be necessary for you to explain it. Would you be kind enough to do that? Well, I, if I was asked to explain it, it means that I would go, I would take every step necessary to carry out the policy that I wish to carry out. That is what I would explain it out. And use force if necessary? Yes, and use force if necessary.